My name is Math. I must to keep my life rest my feet in a girl's lap, both willing and no one's wife, unless there be inclemency of war. With you, Gawaiwin, I remain gently held, the land secure. But sister's son, Gil Fathwi, you have caused the fighting, calls me away, and with your brother, Gwydion, forced the doors and took the maid against her say, all heard her shouts of protest. Do I win, I ask, with me stay, to take the might of Gwyneth for your own, queen of my land, queen of math that right for you may be done. Too clever, Gwydion. What is to do? To mete out vengeance over each your false brother and you, you pair. You pair. But pair you down and pair you up, as heart and buck, boar and sow, each to bear the other's pup. Your turn to hind, with hide of fired gold, your brother to stag, chasing over hill till sun is fold. Your turn to hind, with hide of fired gold, your brother to stag, chasing over hill till sun is fold. Your brother is turned to sow in woods wild, rooting now with you as boar to litter a piglet child. Turn you next to bitch, your high silver yelp calls your brother wolf. Howl through the mountain tops till sun is whelped. You came to me holding your own want higher. If you must burn, I'll make you yearn for what you least desire. So Gwydion and Gilfathwy were turned each into male and female deer, forced to mate into male and female pig and forced to mate to male and female wolf and that was the punishment handed to them i had a little interruption in the middle of that because it seems like the document i called up didn't have the whole of it to hand so i had to reach for another copy of the text hope it didn't interrupt too much A second poem that features a woman named Blood Aoeth. As a consequence of the first story, certain events happened which gave rise to her creation. Gwydion has a sister, Ariane Rod, who had a child and for reasons of her own, took an oath that this child would never be named unless she named him, would never bear, carry arms, swords or shield, unless she gave them him, and would never marry a human wife. It's not said in the stories why she took that oath, but it is said how Gwydion, thinking he was more clever than she, tricked her into giving the child a name, tricked her into giving the child sword and shield, and then with his uncle, Math at Mathonry, created a woman out of flowers. 
and gave her to the son, to the child in, in marriage. The marriage doesn't work out. She takes her own lover, tries to kill her husband. And as punishment, she's turned into an owl to haunt the forests. The way the stories are told are very um, unkind to Blood Iowith and to her motives. I wanted to write something that might redress that a little bit. And it's Blood Iowith primarily speaking in this one. Made of flowers. Did you make me? Wise math at Mathonwe, wizard prince of Gwyneth, to void a shamed mother's wrath. Three times tricked, Arian Rod. Did you see her and laugh? Once to gain a name, was it good? Unknown to bring the skilled shoemaker, his death stone killing from a fair hand thrown. Gwydion giggling at his cleverness, his sister left alone. Twice to gain a sword, to bring a false tale, a siege with a false bard, her son to regale, his very song betrayal. She buckled on the blade herself, oh no, you could not fail. A tingered sharp bequeathed to save her life, three times spoke the angry words, neither knife nor shield nor name he'd have, unless bestowed his mother by, nor any human wife. So for your niece's son, your sister's son's sister's son, you gathered oak, chestnut, broom for maiden's hair, hawthorn too, nine wild flowers, and named me Blodioeth, the earth in bloom, given in gift. To who flower givers then, whom death would never visit, but only when, and his mother's mind scorned again. Did you think I would not dare take my own choice of men? Now I will screech and howl in the dark wood, my wide flower face bright under night's hood, take the mouse and vole for food, scare the other birds with the scathing glower of my mood. Though you may deem thyself a woman's maker formed of flowers, letting not a harsh wind shake her for her beauty's sake, be wise, Math Ap Mathonwi. Her choice is never yours to take. <laughs>